Drew here for Zcode System, and it's great to be back here on YouTube to share with you a special quick hit video using the Soccer Buddy tool to pick and profile a couple of games coming up on Thursday, September to September the 23rd, 2021. So that's what I'm going to be coming to you with today as we prepare for some great soccer action on Thursday and this week, all this week really, in Europe. Some really good games going on, uh, domestic cups as well as league action being played. And I just thought it'd be fun to come to you and show off uh, the, the Soccer Buddy tool uh, as we use regularly here on the YouTube channel to profile and to show picks for the soccer games. Um, but I wanted to sh do this and uh, give you a couple of quick picks for games coming up this weekend. And if you're not a if you're not a subscriber to Zcode system, if you're not a member, then by all means get over there and use these tools to help you with your soccer picks and your soccer sports investments. Uh, there's also other great sports investing tools over there that you can pick up and use uh, courtesy of Zcode system. So go over to zcodesystem.com to get all of those. But of course, you're coming to us here on YouTube, most likely, uh, or on the blog. And we want to showcase some games for you. And I'm going to look at some games specifically from Italy's Serie A, as well as Spain's La Liga uh, going on Thursday night. Now, as you can see there, we've got the Soccer Buddy tool. If you're not familiar with it, of course, just go over to the website, sign up, and you can find out how it works, as well as look on our YouTube page here, you can find the how it works video that we have for the Soccer Buddy tool. Um, but I've already got a set for our date of tomorrow, the 23rd, that's Thursday. And as you can see, we've got all leagues showing at the moment. So uh, you can use this tool to get sports investment insights on all kinds of games that are going on around the world. But specifically, we are going to be looking at La Liga as well as Serie A. And so I've got my drop down box here and I'm just scrolling down. And since Syria is the first one to come up, I am going to select that. But look at all those games from all these great leagues that are going to be coming up on Thursday night. So I'm picking Syria, though, and we are going to scroll down. We've got three games coming up in Syria. And of course, with the Soccer Buddy tool, you got your hot trends, which I can uh, click on right there. Uh, no hot trends. It looks like going into this game, uh, but we do have some value bets that we can also look at uh, with Udinese and Roma. So um, three games going on on Thursday, three really good games and three games that I'm probably going to be uh, tuning in to watch, uh, especially that Roma game. I've been really enjoying Roma this season under the management of Jose Mourinho. Uh, but I don't want to miss out on that Lazio-Torino game, which is going to be played in Turin, the home of Torino. And we see that we have a score prediction of a 1-1 draw. Um, I'm backing this uh, this fixture to end in a draw. Uh, Torino are, are playing well at the moment. Uh, they've picked up a couple of wins in their last three games. And um, Lazio are on, on the down at the moment. They uh, have not been playing too well. Uh, and their manager, Maurizio Sarri, is going to be suspended for this game, uh, not on the touchline. Uh, Lazio coming off of two straight games without a win. And uh, they picked up a 2-2 draw last weekend against Cagliari. Uh, so this is going to be a really good game, uh, in my opinion, and a game in which this will finish in a draw with Torino picking up some points. Uh, this is a better Torino than they were last year. Last year and the year before, they fought relegation. Uh, so for this year, they uh, picked up six points from 12. Back-to-back -back wins uh, for Torino going into this game. Uh, Lazio are just slightly better. Seven points from 12 going into this game. Only one loss this season in Serie A. Um, but I don't think they're going to pick up a win here. But uh, one player to keep an eye on is Ciro Mobile of, of Lazio. He has five goals in four games already this season. So if you want to back a goal scorer, you might want to back Ciro Mobile to get a goal any time. Now moving on to this Udinese Roma game. Roma, who were the surprise leaders uh, of Syria um, last weekend, or co-leaders, I should say, uh, uh, at the beginning of, uh, or I guess last weekend, uh, unfortunately suffering a a defeat uh, at the hands of Hellas Verona. Um, it was a shock defeat, three uh, two, and it ended the great run that Roma was on under Jose Mourinho. They had been playing very very good football, but one of the things to note about this Roma team is that they are open at the back. Uh, they are conceding goals. They conceded three times to Hellas Verona last weekend. So this is a team that could be giving up goals uh, this season. Um, so keep that in mind if you're backing Roma uh, to, uh, to win games this year. Uh, Udinese have started the season pretty well. Um, this is a team that's been finishing uh, the last couple of years down in the lower reaches of the Serie A standings. Uh, but Udinese have picked up seven points from 12 so far this season. Uh, they got a opening day of the season draw 
uh, at home against Juventus, which was a, a, a big result that's kind of powered them on. Um, perhaps Udinese can go ahead and pick up some points in this game. I don't know. Roma will be playing at home. They'll have their home support behind them. Uh, Udinese are coming off of a 4-0 thrashing at the hands of Napoli, who uh, were brilliant in, in that game. And I think Roma will pick up a win in this game. Uh, over 2.5 goals, definitely in this one with the way Roma are conceding goals at the moment. Um, perhaps Roma will be... Uh, a slightly more defensive uh, later in the second half of the season. Mourinho is the coach. He loves to park the bus. Uh, he so far has not, but uh, Tottenham Hotspur fans will remember last year when he was there at at, um, at the North London club that uh, Mourinho's tactics were a bit more free-flowing, a bit more attacking, only to be a little bit more defensive as the season wore on. So I'm um, backing Roma to pick up a win here, and especially over 2.5 goals. Now, Really good game. Uh, like I said, all three of these games are going to be really good. Uh, a game I'm looking forward to as well here is Napoli taking on Sampdoria. Nap- Napoli went into the midweek round of fixtures in first place. They've now dropped back to second place after Inter Milan picked up a win last night over Fiorentina, 3-1. I believe that was the end of the score there. Uh, but Napoli go into this game with a chance to go, go back into first place. And this is a very fun Napoli team to watch uh, under new manager uh, Luciano Spalletti. Um, this is a really, really entertaining side. And um, they have picked up a perfect 12 points from 12, uh, defeating Udinese last week 4-0. And the week before, defeating Juventus uh, 2-1 in a really exciting game at home. Uh, Samp Dori will be the home team playing at the Marassi here. Uh, Samp, uh, not starting the season too too bad uh too badly that is uh five points from 12 so far this season uh they are um just uh in the lower half of the table at the moment um and this is kind of a slippery tricky game here for napoli this is a team sampdoria that is that can take some points off of them uh and end that perfect start to the season but i am backing napoli to pick up this win um this may be more of a one of those times when I'm backing a team more because um, of how my feelings towards them uh, rather than maybe betting with my head. It's being played at Sampdoria. Napoli, again, like I said, they are unbeaten this season. Um, they, they've won all four of their games, um, but it is a tricky fixture. Um, but I like Napoli to win and over 2.5 goals in this game. And if you're looking to back a Napoli player to get a goal here, you've got two really to pick from. You've got Lorenzo Insigne and you've got Victor Osimhen. Uh, both are playing very well, and uh, both players will be um, in the starting 11, uh, as far as I know, for that game. So uh, two players that you might want to back um, going into this game. Okay, so those are the Serie A games. I wanted to show you a uh, profile for you in our quick hits video today. And uh, let's take a look real quickly at a couple of games from La Liga, which will be played on Thursday night. And just like this, you can scroll down. And like I said before, look at all these awesome games that we have coming up uh, on Thursday night that you can get picks from and insight for uh, uh, games in the Netherlands, games in Poland, games in Portugal. Uh, If you like Middle Eastern uh, football, then you can go and check those out. Uh, But of course, we are going to look at the Primera Division there in Spain. And ooh, we've got a hot... Uh, trend already showing up there and this is for the Real Betis versus Osasuna game and we are Zico system 5 for 6 predicting totals over 2.5 in games with Osasuna in the last six matches okay so we've got this uh, big set of games going on here uh, three games just like in Syria and if you've not been really following La Liga this season or if you have you will know that this is a bit of a Possibly topsy turvy season. Um, right now, I'll bring that hot trend back up for you. Uh, right now, uh, Atletico Madrid lead um, La Liga, as I talk to you right now. Uh, Real Madrid do play tonight, this night, Wednesday. They can go back to the top of the table. Uh, but it's a bit of a cluster right now at the top of the table. Atletico Madrid leading Real Madrid, Valencia, Real Valcano, uh, Real Sociedad, Atletic Bilbao, Sevilla. Um, are all in the top seven. And if you want to find Barcelona, you got to go down to the eighth place position. This is a Barcelona team who is not very good, which is not very good. And they lost Messi uh, in the summer. Financial restrictions uh, keeping them from keeping him. And um, we see now how dependent they were on Messi to do real, pretty much everything. Score goals, create goals, uh, sell shirts, what have you. Uh, he probably even made the hot dogs in the, uh, in the concession stands. Uh, but... We've got this game here. We're going to talk about first Barcelona and Cadiz. Um, This is a tricky fixture. Cadiz do go into this game with just five points from 15 so far. Uh, Last season, they started the year really well defensively. Uh, They're keeping games low scoring. 
But in the end, um, they became a bit more open, uh, allowing teams to get goals. Now, I think Barcelona, obviously, will. I don't think I know. Barcelona have the the better talent in this game. Memphis Depay uh, in attack, even Luke de Jong, uh, Frankie de Jong. This is a, a far better team, um, this Barcelona team, uh, than Cadiz. Um, but uh, if you look at um, the last two fixtures Barcelona have played, uh, they lost in the Champions League last week, 3-0 to Bayern Munich. And then they drew at the weekend at home to Granada. Now they're on the road to Cadiz. Uh, and like I say, this could be a tricky fixture. In the last uh, four games, Barcelona have won twice, drawn once, and lost once to Cadiz. So this could be a game in which uh, Barcelona slip up, but I'm going to go ahead and back Barcelona on this game. Uh, I think they'll pick up a win, and I wouldn't be surprised to see under 2.5 goals in this game. Uh, Cadiz should have um, some difficulty getting goals. Uh, They don't have a lot of goals in them this season. Um, they did pick up a win last time against Celta Vigo, uh, 2-1. So keep that in mind when you're making this bet. But again, I'm going Barcelona and under 2.5 goals. Uh, looking back up the table, we'll go back up here, the 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 uh, picks here, and we'll look at uh, Real Sociedad against Granada. Uh, Sociedad going into this game 10 points from 15 possible this season. They are in fifth place and just four points off of first place. Now, this is a team that hung around the top of the table, the top three places for the first three, four months of last season, only to fall away. They just didn't have the the players and the ability to really um, stay uh, stay fighting for the La Liga title as the season wore on. Um, but they are taking on a Granada team who are, yes, they're coming off of a draw with Barcelona, but this is a Granada team that has taken just three points from 15 possible this season, drawing all uh, drawing three games to get those three points. Uh, they are minus five in goal difference. Uh, they are playing on the road, Real Sociedad, that is. Um, but I'm backing Sociedad to pick up a win here. Uh, they are a more talented team. But keep in mind, uh, Sociedad have drawn their last two games. They drew with PSV Eindhoven uh, away from home, 2-2 in the Europa League last week. And then they drew at the weekend in a very difficult game at home against Sevilla, 0-0. And that's a game that can really have a direct effect on which teams finish in the Champions League places. And to be honest, um, I really thought Sevilla had a chance to, to win La Liga this season, but uh, they've kind of slipped up now and uh, fallen off the pace. So she said their only loss this season in the league came against Barcelona uh, to open up the season at Barcelona. So uh, keep those in mind. I'm backing Sociedad to pick up a win, and I quite like that 2-1 scoreline over 2.5 goals uh, in this game. Now, Real Betis taking on Osasuna in the other game here uh, to finish up our picks for La Liga. And just looking at the table over here, uh, Betis going into this game six points from 15 possible. Uh, They sit in 11th place. And uh, we've got Osasuna, the Pamplona, Pamplona, Pamplona team. Sorry, that's a tough one to say. The Pamplona team, uh, they uh, sit in ninth place, eight points from 15 possible. And I would say these teams are quite evenly matched, but I would give Real Betis the uh, upper hand when it comes to the talent on the pitch. Um, but Osasuna are fighting hard. Um, looking at this game, Osasuna... They are coming off of a win last weekend, 2-0 over Deportivo Alaves, uh, which followed on from a loss from Valencia. And then they take on this Real Betis team, who uh, go into this game following um, a draw with Espanyol uh, last time out and uh, a win the previous week against Granada 2-1. And this is a Betis team that is unbeaten in three straight games in all competitions. And I'm going to call shenanigans on this one. I'm going to go against... Uh, the pick from from uh, Z code system here, and I'm going to go with this game uh, being a little bit different. I actually quite like Real Betis to pick up a victory in this game. Uh, these teams in their last six meetings, Real Betis have won five times and they've drawn one time. And I think that they are going to pick up a an, excuse me. I think they're going to pick up an away victory in this game. So I am backing Los Verde Blanco here to pick up the victory. And let's reverse that to 2-1 Real Betis winning with over 2.5 goals. Because as we can see there, the hot trend is Osasuna, we are 5 for 6 predicting over 2.5 goals in the last six games with Osasuna. So I'm going Betis on this one. I'm going Sociedad. And I'm going Barcelona all to win in La Liga on Thursday night. Okay, guys. 
Thanks so much for watching. And of course, remember to subscribe to the Z Code System channel here on YouTube. Sign up over at Z Code System and get all of these great investing tools for whatever sport it is that you like to wager on. And please like the video. Uh, and if I didn't say it already, subscribe to the channel, please. Um, I think I did say that. Um, and also comment down below. Let us know what you think about these quick hit videos that uh, we're bringing to you with some great picks for tomorrow's games in Serie A and La Liga. And uh, yeah, let us know if there's any other leagues that you want to see us profile from time to time here on the YouTube channel. So guys, thanks for watching and we will see you next time here on Z Code System.